Welcome to another question of the week with me, Leon Bartrop, where I help you to put more fish on the bank. In this video, we're going to be talking about fluorocarbon mainline. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. If you're new here on the channel and you like this type of videos and you want to see more of these type of videos, then it may be worth you hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Fluorocarbon mainline has become more and more popular. I use it a lot in my fishing, and here's some of the reasons why, the pros, the cons, and how you can possibly use it in your fishing. Fluorocarbon is a lot heavier than normal monofilament. For me, that means I can get my line down over the contours of the lake. If I'm fishing in short, it's not sticking up. I don't have to have a tight line. I can slacken off, and it will naturally hug the contours of the bottom. Also, it's near invisible in water, so that helps if you're fishing a gin clear water, and the fish are moving around, they get easily spooked by lines. Fluorocarbon mainline is an ideal alternative to your normal monofilament. It also has a controlled stretch, so it's a lot more responsive when you're trying to find those spots. I personally use it quite a lot when, if I'm fishing a normal mono and I want to cast more than about 60 yards, I always have a fluorocarbon leader. The benefits of that is it, the last 20 odd foot of me fishing is hugging the bottom, it's staying close to the spot and becomes less obtrusive to any patrolling or feeding fish. Another advantage of that is that I can change that last 20 foot without having to change my main line all the time. That leader can be changed if it gets damaged or if it wears out, it stops becoming as invisible in the water as I'd like it to be. So I can just change that last 20 foot without having to worry about changing the whole spool of line. There's some of the pros with using fluorocarbon. Some of the cons are, firstly, it's very expensive. It's a lot more expensive than normal monofilament you're more likely to pay between about 40 to 60 pound per bulk spool rather than the 10 to 20 pound that you'd normally pay for monofilament line. Secondly, it doesn't, secondly, because of the makeup of the fluorocarbon line, it doesn't cast very well, it's quite wiry. So another tip there would be to stretch out as much of the line as you can on a regular basis because the nature of it, it's gonna coil up again after the use of constantly winding in and casting out in the reel. So what I do is I tie the end of my fluorocarbon main line to my barra or, or a tree and I pull it tight without snapping it. I just pull it tight and what that will do is that will stretch it out nicely so it's going to lay a lot better without coiling up and it'll cast a lot better also. Another problem you'll get with fluorocarbon main line, it deteriorates over time. Just like any main line, it will deteriorate after a amount of time. And when you're spending 40 to 60 quid, it becomes a very expensive way of respooling your line every year. It's also very high maintenance. You have to keep cleaning it because it picks up a lot of debris on the line. So I'm forever cleaning it. Hence why I use fluorocarbon leaders, even if I'm using fluorocarbon main line. Because instead of having to clean the line all the time and replace it, all I do is I change that last 20 foot of leader so it's brand new. and keeps working for me in the way I want it to do, to hug the bottom, to become not as obtrusive in the water column to fish, and to keep on casting the way I want it to. There you go, there's a little outline of fluorocarbon main line how you can use it, the pros, the cons, and how you can possibly use it in your fishing and your tactics on the venues that you fish. If you like these type of videos and you want to see more of these type of videos, then it may be worth you hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon if you do, then you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. See you for the next video.